Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing well. And again, I wanna encourage my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ, especially those who are experiencing anxiety at the thought of losing something precious to you. In other words, for people who are struggling with, what if I lose fill in the blank? And this is causing you anxiety. It's even tempting you to despair and you can't function like you want to. You want to be free of this anxiety and you know that you'd be better off not worrying, but you feel like you need to hold on. It's your responsibility to make sure that you don't lose this thing. And that could cause a lot of anxiety and God does not want us to live that way. And so I struggled with this recently and I was afraid. Even though we want to always stay surrendered and trusting in God, but sometimes in the back of our hearts or in our minds, we say, Lord, we surrender everything except for my children, except for my health, my job, my source of income. You know, we have these things that we hold back and those are the things that we're holding on to and so afraid of losing. And so I want to help you see the deception in that. And it could get really complicated when you try to handle it yourself as well. Oh, if this happens, what will I do? What is my backup plan? You know, some of you have faced this kind of loss you're fearing in the past and you're thinking, how will I bear another loss like that? And the others of you have never experienced this kind of loss you're fearing and you're afraid of what will happen. But what helped me a lot, and I believe it can help you, is to just take a step back and keep it simple. And so just ask yourself or tell yourself this, even if I lose, fill in the blank, whatever you're fearful of losing. So even if I lose this, I will still have Jesus. That's the bottom line on why we have no reason to fear losing anything in our lives. Because we will never lose Jesus. Jesus is our life. He is the one who provides for us. He is the one who makes sure that we're okay physically, emotionally, and spiritually. And even if we're going through pain at times, there's a purpose to it, and he's working it for our good and his plan for our life. And so keeping it simple like that, when there's a lot of complex anxieties going on, is I believe one of the most simple ways to overcome it. Even if I lose whatever, I have Jesus. No circumstance in this world can take away our Jesus. He promised that once we trust in him and we become his child and he lives in us, he will never leave. Even the Holy Spirit acts as a guarantee for our inheritance. It's done and we will never lose him. And because of his promises, we don't have to worry about how we're going to be provided for, how we're going to provide for our children and what our future looks like. Jesus said, I will carry you. I have made you and I will bear you. I will carry and save even to your old gray head. Isaiah 46, 4. I kind of moved it around a little bit. But the bottom line is God gave us his word that he'll meet our needs and that he'll carry us through this life. And so that's a deception from the devil or maybe it's our flesh or maybe it's the world trying to tell us these messages that we need these certain things in our lives. And Jesus is saying, all you need is me. And a lot of you are going through this trial so that you can learn from head to heart that Jesus truly is all you need. Some of you may be losing a lot of things, <clears throat> excuse me, in your life that you thought you needed. But now that you don't have these things, you have nowhere to look but Jesus. And as you trust in his promises and his love and goodness for you, you learn that he truly is all you need. And this kind of understanding 
And this kind of faith cannot be bought with any kind of money. It is by the gift of is a gift of God that you're you're able to understand and believe these simple truths. And so let's look at Matthew chapter 16, verse 26. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and forfeits his soul? And so even if you gain all the money in this world, all the fame and people admire you, and you live comfortably the whole 120 years, but yet you forfeit your soul, you don't know Christ, you profit nothing. You have nothing to show for your life except an eternity in hell. All is lost. But for you and me who have trusted in Jesus, if you've trusted in Jesus, you did not forfeit your soul. You saved your soul by trusting in him. Then what is your profit? Eternal life. His promises. An inheritance waiting for you in heaven. And so if you have Jesus, you have everything you ever desire, everything you would want to desire. He's our all in all. And so we could say, even if we don't get any of the desires of this world, we could say, you can have the world. If I could have Jesus, I'm content. He's all I need. And so one of the bottom line things that we should do with the things that we fear of losing is to not hold on tight, but to hold on with a loose grip, saying, Lord, I trust you. I realize that your plan might be different than mine. And if you want to take this at this time or wherever, I trust you. Lord, I trust in that you give me what I need at the right time. I trust in your wisdom, in your way. And so once you start losing your grip on things, like even your children, your wealth and health, for example, they no longer have power over you to cause you anxiety. But instead, you trust them with it. And ultimately, you will always have Jesus, no matter what. You're always secure. You're always taken care of. You don't have to fend for yourself when you have Jesus. He's our good shepherd. So I pray that the Lord gives you wisdom and insight to hold on to everything loosely and so that you won't fear losing anything because you know that you will always have Jesus. That's the bottom line. You'll always have Jesus until the end of time. God bless you.